Let's do it. Any time you're ready. Now! Ladies and gentlemen, the Universal At the Universal Tour, a series of spectacular live shows provide visitors with a first-hand look at movie magic brought to life. Hold it. Boom. How you feel? Bad fall. Real bad fall. <laughs> I think an audience appreciates a live show where we have to depend on everything working because if we goof and that has happened in the show, then the audience sees that. So it, it keeps us pretty much alert. In a movie, a stunt performance involves substituting your body for someone else's for dangerous bits of business. In this show, the performers have to master a wide range of difficult stunts and know how to do the acting as well. And on top of that, they have to be funny on cue. The most important thing and the most basic thing is timing. I've always tried to approach this as a sort of a long-running play. I mean, who knows? It, it, with the acting experience, I'm learning day by day. Uh, maybe I'll become the next John Wayne. You don't believe that, though, do you? <laughs> Being the next John Wayne is every actor's dream. And speaking of actors, actors? It's true. In the land of show business, make believe, animals are actors too. Of course, every actor needs rehearsal. Go. This is how we do it in a movie situation. We're all good. But in front of a live audience, you only get one chance. Jump up there and say hello. Sunshine, can you believe this? How about a big hand for the Marshall Eagle? But when you get right down to it, no matter how different animal actors are from their human counterparts, when they do their jobs right, the reward is just as sweet. In addition to all the classic kinds of entertainment showcased at Universal, a new generation of presentations is combining the look of today's spectacular movie special effects with the impact of living, breathing reality. The Adventures of Conan, a sword and sorcery spectacular. This, for example, combines live theater with millions of dollars worth of technology to create a dramatic spectacle of unprecedented proportions. What Conan is, is a compilation of every single uh, live special effect that you can do. It's got all these various effects, lasers, fire, pyro, magic. It's got CO2, it's got smoke, it's got animation. All these things in one place. So from that standpoint, it is the state-of-the-art kind of show. Conan's huge stage setting conceals an even larger collection of high-tech equipment, including a massive sense-around audio system that can bring a dragon's howl to life. Plus, a complicated system of lasers that weave a web of high-powered visuals, including a hidden super beam that uses 4,000 watts of power per square centimeter to trigger a volley of onstage pyrotechnic explosions. But this is more than a hardware show. It's live theater, and the actors in the show have discovered a whole new meaning for the term stage fright. One time I came out, I make an appearance, uh, and it's supposed to be smoke than fire. What happened was it was fire than smoke. And what happened was that all this burned up, and I just had a little string here. My wig burned up. Fortunately, it's, you know, it's, got, it's fireproof, retardant, so I didn't burn my hair or anything else. Ah, the magic.
magic of the theater. In what may amount to the ultimate combination of ingredients, the Conan Spectacular has applied the skills of advanced designers with the tools of tomorrow's technology to create a character bigger than any human performer has ever played. This 18-foot-tall, snarling, fire-breathing beast has to perform just as precisely as everyone else in this production. We computer program him so that he goes through a certain series of movements and he comes up and he does the same thing for every single show. He's basically got to be in the right place to fire his laser eyes and to fire the fire out of his mouth every single time so that the actors know what to expect. If technology is one of the players in Conan, there's another mega attraction at Universal that's made technology king. King Kong. This beast's sheer size, realistic expressions, and hot winds of banana breath are just some of its many remarkable features. But what's most remarkable is the entire concept behind this new approach to how to treat an audience. In essence, we've now got the guests eye to eye, just feet away from King Kong, and they're actually participating with him swinging the bridge back and forth. For It's got to be sure imminent disaster. We escape out of there, needless to say, to live and tell the story over and over again. And that's just uh, a bit of movie magic that happens in two minutes and 20 seconds, resets, and essentially happens every three minutes all day long. Unlike Conan or King Kong, the newest attraction created by Universal's special effects wizards isn't based on fantasy, but on one of reality's most terrifying events. If you think being in an earthquake is eye-opening, look at what it takes to make one happen. To begin with, you'll need to build one of the largest sound stages on Earth. Then add an unprecedented list of special effects, including two million volts of man-made lightning, an 11,000-pound concrete slab that can collapse 200 times a day, an out-of-control tractor-trailer, a 40-mile-an-hour subway crash, and on top of all that, literally, a 60,000-gallon, 15-foot-high wall of water. We have three-dimensional moving objects or animated objects, which are some of the largest animated objects in any show that's ever been made. Where else but in the world of special effects can you experience a devastating 8.3 earthquake and know you'll come through without so much as a scratch? On this set, we're going to have a lot of overlapping action that will be seen from a variety of point of views. Behind this new generation of powerhouse entertainment is a powerhouse team of design and engineering talents. Everything that happens for MCA Recreation and Universal Studios and the tour originates here and we're responsible for guiding it all along the way. Initially, what happens when you develop a project, uh, you start off with some real quick sketches so that you have a common denominator that everyone can work from. Okay, the most distinct difference between... For Universal's special effects design team, impossible challenges are a way of life. These planners are creating the most explosive display of danger ever seen by a live audience, the Miami Vice Action Spectacular. What we want to do, if we can, is get a lot of the action real close to all these people so that they can really experience all the explosions and all the tremendous kind of special effects real close. You know, that's the one thing that you can't do when you see a film. Seeing ideas like those being translated into reality is a show in and of itself. Action! probably got 15 contractors out there right now working just on the effects stuff. Can I get those plywood out of there? Watching this crew mount a show about a battle is an example of life imitating art. I need to get that plywood out of the control room. <laughs> There's going to be 50 stunts in uh, 18 minutes, and it will be radical. One, two, three! Everything that you see that we're doing has double and triple thoughts about safety. We just have to be safe in everything we do. Action! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two. Believe me, 
if your timing is off, you can make one mistake and you have the end result of this. But when it all works right, which is almost all the time, you have an end result that looks like no other live show you've ever seen. It's the end of another long and busy day, like most in this city within a city called Universal Studios. Thousands of guests leave with their mementos of a visit behind the scenes, a snapshot, a t-shirt, or a memory of something unforgettable. Designers, builders, and other movie makers head for home to rest up for another day of making dreams come true.